head wraps will always keep you beautiful and a little bit of makeup guys i'm letting you know right now get you some head wraps hey guys and welcome back to my channel on today's video i am going to show you how to beautify yourself when you are feeling so down and out on a cloudy day when all this stuff is going on around the world you're feeling like you're real real not cute such as me i'm going to show you how to throw on a head wrap some earrings and a little bit of makeup to brighten your day and make you feel so much better so the first thing i would do when i feel really really rough like right now i'm feeling rough because my hair is not done i don't have on any makeup i don't have on any earrings i need something to boost me up in these hard times everybody knows that it's a it's a pandemic going on around here and we're stuck in the house and we don't feel the need to have to dress up and put our clothes on so we we need to find something to boost us up now hair wraps oh i broke my rubber band hair wraps are the best thing for women who are feeling down in the dump or let me get another rubber band who is feeling not cute who needs a pick me up and everything like that so what i usually do i usually take a rubber band and put it on my braids so that when i put my hair wrap on it would be just a breeze for everything to work out so i just throw a a little uh band rubber band back here depending on how i want my hair wrap to be if i want fullness at the top i'll throw my hair to the top if i want it full on the side i'll throw my hair to the side but this time i'm going to wrap my hair around uh and the back's going to be flat and i'm going to bring the here's my head wrap right here isn't it pretty this is my first time using it i'm going to um bring the knot decoration to the front does it, that makes any sense so i'll pull the camera out so that you guys can see everything this is so pretty i get my wraps from the this is the width of it and it's, and it's superly duperly long i will have everything listed in the description box but sometimes they sell wraps and once they sell out, they don't replace them with the same ones, but they have a lot of beautiful ones. Now, I'm not gonna put on any makeup. I'm just gonna throw on this wrap. Here goes the tag right here. The tag goes in the back. And since I wanna bring my knot to the front, I'm gonna make sure I have this pulled down some and make sure my hair is tucked in the back. Gotta make sure it's even, even, Steven, even as I can get it. Now, there's no particular way to throw on your wrap. You just throw it on it has, at how you feel. So, I'm going to pull it to the back. And I usually tie a knot back here so that it can be secure. But I'm not going to tie it real tight. But I'm going to tie it tight enough so that it can be secure. All right, so let me turn around. And everything about hair wraps is hand movement. So you just keep on messing with it until you like it. So it's, it'll take you a while to catch on and figure out how to do it. So one, this side is longer than the other side, but that's okay. We're going to work with it. So we just make sure this is laying down flat. Make sure all your hair is tucked away. And I just pull it to the front like this. And once it gets up here, I kind of like push this back some. So it won't be in my in my eyeballs. <laughs> but once I get up here, I don't really know what I'm going to do. So I'll just play around with it until my little fingers come up with something. There is no one particular way to do your wrap. You just, you just mess with it until you like it. So sometimes I'll twist. One side here, 
and then I'll twist the other side like this. And then I'll pull it up like this, and then I'll like, I'll be like, okay, now what am I gonna do with this here? So recently, recently I've been wearing it like in a knot right here. So I pull it a little tight. Then I take the ends of it and tuck it under here. This, this hair wrap material is very easy to tuck. So I'll tuck like that. Then I'll come over here and mess around with it. All depends on how I feel. I may leave it like this or whatever, but. <laughs> so I'll just take this and flip it on this side and twist it on this side. And come this way. So I just mess around with it until I like it. You gotta make sure the back is, um, gotta make sure the back is tucked away so it can look nice too. Tuck, 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 pull, tuck. Until everything is the way you like it. So I don't know what it looks like in the back. So it all depends on your preference. You might like your ears tucked away, or you might like your ears to show. And then I will throw on my earrings and put on my makeup afterwards. And like I said, I can never get my hair wraps exactly the same all the time. But I'm okay with that. So just throw on little earrings. These are earrings with girls with an afro puff. And the reason why I put my makeup on after I put on my wrap because I don't want my wrap to get dirty. So this is one way. I don't know if I should um, do another style. Sometimes I, I'll just let, if it, something falls out, I'll just let it be. Like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, guys, so that's what that is. So we're going to rock with it like this today. All right, guys, so we're all zoomed in. And I'm going to show you how I put, uh, put on my makeup around my head wrap most of the times I don't really feel like putting on a lot of makeup so I'll just take a little bit and just throw it on my face just to brighten up my day all right guys I'm going to use my Lancome this is number 24H I think Tanti Doll Tanti Idol Tanti Doll Ultra 24H oh I guess that's 24 hours I don't see the um the color but I'll be sure to link it in the description box when I get a chance I don't really think this color matches me either because I'll be going through changes in color. <laughs> so I just throw in a little bit because to me, my hair wrap is the statement. And I want people to see my hair wrap and say, hey, you look so pretty today. Your hair wrap is so pretty. And guys, when I go places with my hair wrap on, I get a lot of stares. I get, it's like people are asking questions in their minds like, ooh. I want one or she looks pretty or whatever the case may be. I don't know what they're thinking. I just go by what I feel like they're thinking. So I'm going to put a little bit more here. Now, you're probably wondering, well, Nancy, how do you go around your forehead? I just go just underneath it. Because like I said, I don't want my head wrap to touch my makeup. And a lot of you girls must be asking about my head wraps and stuff when I um, post my stories. Be saying, Nezzy, that's a pretty wrap. Where you get that from? And a lot of stuff like that. Okay, so we got a little bit of foundation on. These are the things that I do to brighten up my day and make me feel better. I don't need much, just need a little bit of a boost. And then I'll take a little bit of concealer. Did I blend this all good? I hope I did. Like I said, you don't, you don't need a lot of makeup because your hair wrap is the statement. Unless you just feel like having a lot of makeup on. Concealer always brightens up your face and your spirit. 
If you got dark circles like I do, girl, concealer will be your friend. And you don't even need a lot. Just enough to brighten up the darkness around your eyes. And it gives you a cheerful look. When you have brighter looking eyes, you look wide awake and happier. And this concealer is by Tarte. This one kind of like kind of like matches my skin. And this color is Rich. This is called Rich. Do I want some more on my nose? I just put a little bit down my nose. All right, guys. So we're on our way. I hope I'm starting to look like a humanoid again. So I'm going to take uh my sponge which is dirty don't know why i didn't clean it maybe because i didn't know i was going to do this video today why not why don't you know that doesn't take much just pat 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 so that you can blend it out i'm trying to find the clean part of my of my uh beauty blender this is a beauty blender everybody on youtube has a beauty blender so i just go just right underneath the head wrap a lot of people don't really notice that you're, you don't have foundation all the way up because they're paying attention to your regalness and your head wrap. Then I'll take a little bit of press, well, powder to brighten up my eyes. So today's powder is gonna be by Sasha Buttercup. I'm gonna take this little brush here and add a little bit of sunniness around my eyes. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Not much. <laughs> See, that's why I don't do makeup. That's why I don't do makeup on my channel. <laughs> I need to. But, yeah, so I just take a little bit of uh, setting powder and go around my eyes. So I'm going to take my powder, which is by Black Radiance. This is too light, though. I don't know if I should use that one. Maybe I should use this one. This is Black Radiance, and I think this is called the lighter color. So I took a little bit of the powder and put it in this cup, in this cap. This little brush came with the powder. And just go around just a little bit. Just to add a little bit of color to my face and make it look nice and pretty. So you notice I'm going around my eyes too, after I put the little yellow um, translucent powder. You're probably saying, well, Nancy, what you do that for? That was a waste of time. But like I said, that's to brighten my eyes. I want to look like I have hardly no makeup on. That's what I look like most of the time when I wear my hair wraps, like I have on hardly no makeup. So that is to blend in and not look make you look so makeup -y. all right guys so i'm going to go on and throw on some color on my cheeks and i'm going to use a orange orange is going to make me feel happier and prettier today this is called black up blush it's orange i got this from ulta i think or was it sephora i don't remember but Orange looks so pretty on dark skin. So I got the blush brush here. This brush is by Morphe Y11. It's the gold collection, I think. And then I'll take the excess and go over my eyes. This is a very simple routine, guys. This just gives you a little flush on your face. So I'm gonna take some, some highlighter and put it on my face. You can use any highlighter. You don't need mine because this is no longer for sale, but just get some highlighter and put it on your cheeks a little bit. Not much, just enough to have like a little glow. Just a little bit of light shimmer will do you. Don't need too much. So at this point, I'm going to use some MAC setting spray. It's not coming out right. Why not? This is a matting setting spray. All right, so I did find a eyebrow pencil in my stash here. It's by LA Color. It's called, it's a brow pencil. This is not really a good pencil for me. But I got it from the dollar store and it somewhat gets the job done. 
but for this tutorial it'll still get the job done because we're not gonna need a lot of brow stuff no way and the reason why I'm not really crazy about it is because it doesn't really come off that easily but anyway you just throw on some um, pencil on your eyebrows just a little bit you want to shape the face and have like a dimension to your face so I got my pencil on and then I'll take my brush and rebrush it make sure they look matched up as possible I know they say you don't want your eyebrows to match you want them to look like sisters no you don't you want them suckers to match they only look like sisters they need to look like they match sometimes sisters don't uh, they don't act right all right you know your sisters don't be acting right sometimes when um, if I really need to pick me up I'll throw on some eyeliner that matches my head wrap so I have on green I have on green in my head wrap I'm going to take this green eyeliner and go right underneath the eyes then you take some mascara and put it on your eyelashes I'm using Tarte today Tarte this this here is my favorite mascara with my mascara I usually fan because I don't want it to take a long time to dry now if you wanted to you could put some eyeliner on the top lid too to make your eyes look more not so sleepy usually when I don't wear eyeliner on the top my eyes look a little sleepy but that's okay so we're gonna move along to some lip color now you guys have been asking me about my lips where are they all right guys so I do have my lipstick here this is by Too Faced it's called it's a it's melted matte and it is called drop dead red okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this lipstick on red always tend to make me feel happy this is a really really matte formula this is really a pretty color but it can get dry to add a little sparkle and glitter I'll put this gloss on top it's a gl colored gloss it's by black radiance I'll take it put it in the center I'll do some final touches if I have to and you know yeah if I have to I'll do some final touches and I'll probably throw on um, some perfume that makes me feel better too and yeah guys so I really do hope you enjoyed this video tell me if you like this or not you probably said well Nancy you could have went on and did your wrap a different kind of way I could have there was a lot of ways to do it oh let me check this under some more now after you do your wrap always go back and do a check because it looks cute when you sit in the mirror looking at it from the front and then you get your mirror and go in the back you be like uh no that's not cute let me see something you can have it like right here or you can have it further back like that or you can bring this down some some more you can pull it to the side like this there's no one way to do a hair wrap. It's however you feel at that time. You, your hands do the work for you. And you can always make a difference in your wrap just by doing simple, simple, simple moves with your hands. It's all about the hands. Guys, you know what? Makeup and a hair wrap can make you look completely girl. It can make you look and feel so much better. Go get you some hair wraps. Let me show you how many hair wraps I got. Here you are. I have a collection of them. Do I wear all of them? No. I have but I'm okay with that I have them just in case whenever I want to get to them all right so keep you some hair wraps all you need is two or three you don't really need a lot you ain't gotta be obsessive like me but head wraps and wigs will always keep you beautiful and a little bit of makeup guys I'm letting you know right now get you some head wraps okay guys so I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm. <laughs>